Hi there, this is Sue Stapp with you. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to be showing you my April paper pumpkin. And it's called Spring Sweet Springtime. Not just springtime, but sweet springtime time. That's a tongue twister for me. <laughs> I guess I need coffee yet this morning. So let me open up this package and we can see what it's all about. beautiful box this month. You know, we usually have our typical orange paper pumpkin box, but every once in a while we get something that's themed to the coordinate with the kit. Oh, look at this. What's sweeter in springtime than Easter bunnies and chips? Now, I'm getting this to you in mid-April. Oh, this was February's. What am I thinking? That says Sweet Springtime, but it's the February 2024 paper pumpkin. So we're getting ready for Easter in this case. Now I'm coming to you in April, so I'm a little behind. Sorry about that. It's been a busy time for me. <laughs> so whenever you open paper pumpkin, you always get a Stampin' Spot. Now the Stampin' Spot is the small mini version of our stamp pad and it comes in the colors of our collection and this time it's Early Espresso. So if you collect these over a 12 month period, you'll have 12 different stamp sets. Oh, look at that cute Bonnie. I gotta show you this. I gotta put some paper behind it so you can see it though. Look at the bunny. There's a chick. This one says, welcome baby. This one says, springtime greetings. And this one says, happy Easter. Oh, and there's some daffodils. Yep, that's a sign of spring for sure. So let's see what this kit includes. I'm gonna set my tissue paper and my box over here out of the way for now. And I wanna open this kit and show you the parts and the instruction sheet. So it looks like we have a gingham going on with a peach and white color. Um, let's see. I wanna get this cardboard off here because the instructions are right behind there. <laughs> so these are the parts, these are the instructions. And on the front here, it shows you what each of the cards are gonna look like. And it looks like we have um, three different sizes. And inside are our visual instructions. This shows the card, and this one is the one with the chicks, and this one is the little tag. So great, great products, and cute graphics. It also shows you some alternative ideas on here, and there is a Paper Pumpkin video that you can watch, paperpumpkinhowto.com, and you can go through that. Now the kit contains supplies for six cards and three boxes. The coordinating Stampin' Up! colors that you can use with these, if you're so inclined, are Berry Burst, Crumb Cake, Daffodil Delight, Early Espresso, Garden Green, Granny Apple Green, Pecan Pie, Petal Pink, and Berry Vanilla. So, let me get to it. This is that stamp set that I showed you in the photopolymer, that's our clear one. And we're having some tear and tape, and this is one of my favorite additions to cards, is the linen thread. So we have a little spool of that. We have some white dimensional dots, and those are really pretty. I wonder if we're using those on the tail of the bunny. <laughs> uh, we have a little section here that has our dimensionals in it this month so we have that and we have some glue dots that's what these are they're double-sided and these are the little 
dots. Look at those. They have dimension to them. I like them. These must be the boxes and the envelopes for the boxes. Or maybe just part of the boxes. Oh, this is one of the cards. Here's the boxes. So I'll show you how to put these together when I come back to you. And again, there was three of those, three of the letter size are a little bit bigger than letter size cards and then we have the three a2 cards with the bunnies on the front isn't that cute graphic oh i love it love it love it love it and we have these punch outs that you can add to cards and they have a ribbon there's two of those different styles of those we have two that have the bunny and the chick together we have four of the daffodils, and then we have a large one with three chicks on it, and that's with the petal pink background, and that's really pretty. That alone on a white card would be pretty. Maybe a little yellow ribbon or something. You can always add to make it your own. And we have three sheets of those, so we have a lot of those to work with. And then we have this beautiful wreath, a springtime wreath with daffodils and daisies and maybe hyacinths. And we can punch that out. You can see how that looks. Isn't that pretty? And then there's a daffodil that they have here in the middle. And there's some green leaves for our daffodils too. There's three of those pages also. So we have a lot of that. It looks like they're, these are our envelopes for the longer than regular size that we're going to be using. And it looks like it's a very pale yellow. I love that green gingham check inside. And then these are the A2 envelopes. And they look like they're in crumb cake. And they have the uh, peach and white gingham. So... The other things were three boxes. So we have six cards with envelopes and we'll have three boxes. I'll come back and show you what they look like and I'll show you some alternatives that I've come up with. And uh, before I go, I wanna let you know, I'm taping this on April 5th, Friday, and you can sign up for the May Paper Pumpkin anytime prior to April 10th. April 10th is the deadline. And the April paper pumpkin is gonna be called Delicate Wings. It looks like it's gonna be butterflies and it makes nine cards, three of each of three designs with coordinating envelopes. There's uh, pre-cut paper pieces and butterfly designs. Foil images, coordinating colors are gonna be Lost Lagoon, Moody Mauve, Basic Beige, Basic Gray, and the stamp and spot will be Basic Black. In May, we have the uh, nine cards, and these are for Father's Day to express your gratitude and admiration. And there's going to be, like I said, three Card, or nine cards, three each of three designs with coordinating envelopes. And in June, it's called Life is Sweet. Look at those peaches. Mm -mm. And you can subscribe anytime before June 10th. And this makes nine cards, three each of three designs. It has iridescent glimmer sentiments and pre cut paper pieces, vellum accents, iridescent pearls, and my favorite, linen thread. Uh, there are add-ons that you can buy if you so choose, but these come to you, these kits, and it makes everything that's in there, and you won't have to add anything to it. However, if you do like me and you save scraps here and there, you can add things to it and make alternatives. So I'll be back with some of those ideas. And until then, happy stamping. Hi, this is Sue Stapp, and I am back with you for part two of the February Paper Pumpkin 2024. 
and this was the Easter and Springtime. Uh, it's called Sweet Springtime, actually. This was the instruction sheet I showed you earlier, and it has picture instructions to go along with putting the cards together. These are the cards that uh, were in the kit, and this is a long fold, and it says Springtime Greetings. It has little chicks and a beautiful wreath around it, and then a coordinating envelope. And then this is the actual Happy Easter one with the bunnies and the daffodils, so pretty. We stamped the banner at the top, Happy Easter. And this is the third project, and this is a little gift box. And this has the bunny and chicks on the front. And this is tied with the linen thread. So those are the three projects that come in the kit. Now I have some alternatives I'd like to share with you that I put together. Uh, this is the first one. This is a welcome baby, and that welcome baby stamp was also in this kit. So I uh, made that. This one is springtime greetings, and you can see I used the box and cut it up and uh, put the daffodil in there. I used one of my story, I think it's story time stamps. And then this one I just did Happy Easter. Now this frame with the greenery on it was one of the punch outs also. So I put the daffodils on it and it's just a simple Happy Easter. And you can recognize the flowers from the box. And that I did springtime greetings and I used the one and three quarter inch uh, circle punch that has the scalloped edge. And then this one I used the, <laughs> so I used again the part from the box here. This is just white cardstock that I put yellow dots on. And then the springtime greeting sign. And this was the punch out from the daffodil that went around the wreath. And so I put that in the middle to set it off. And this one I put together, it's uh, wanted to make it look like a little farm stand. So I have springtime greetings. I just colored in some of the tan background that was one of the envelope pieces and punched out the uh, daffodils from the wreath. Fussy cut them, actually didn't punch them. And made the scallop out of the top of the box. So that was that one. Here's another baby one. I just put little chicks on there. It says, welcome baby. And I use a scallop cardboard piece to make clouds whenever I do clouds on a card. And I've had that around for years. This is another one. I just made it like a, a, a bouquet or a garden, flower garden. And I cut up one of the wreaths. And springtime greetings. So I thought that was pretty too. And this one I did with the daffodils. And I put two of them on a white square with the green check background and one just fussy cut with the greeting springtime greetings. Now, I didn't use a lot of the card stocks that were in the kit because I will use them next year for Easter. Um, so just to give you an idea of all the stuff I have left, I have a whole pile of it here. And remember, these are the stamps that came with the set. And I have those marked. Uh, I still have a lot of dimensionals to use and daffodils and bunnies and chicks. I got two of the whole bunny cards. And then I have a lot of the scraps from the boxes and this is that frame that i mentioned to you oh there's one of the little sequins um i have a couple banners left and like i say quite a few daffodils and in addition i can always stamp more because the stamp set includes the spray with the two daffodils that's this one here and I've seen this bunny done on in white on a card, and it looked really cute. So it wouldn't have to necessarily be Easter, but, uh, you know, it is a great place to start. So that is 
the February paper pumpkin. I got a little bit of a late start, so I'm not using too much for Easter because Easter's already passed in my case. So I will use these for next year. And um, I look forward to my April kit. I, I mentioned to you in my last video, uh, the April kit is gonna be called Delicate Wings and it's gonna be a cutout of butterflies. And then May is Father's Day and then masculine cards. And then June is gonna be Life is Sweet and it shows the peaches on there with the sentiment hello punched out. So that's what's coming up the next three months. It gives you an idea if you wanna sign up and join. I also wanted to share with you the new catalogs are coming out now. You may have seen uh, a couple pictures, but this is the hex values that is shown for the colors. Our new colors for 24 to 26 is peach pie, petunia, pop, pretty in pink, shy shamrock, and summer splash. So they'll coordinate with a lot of our existing colors. And there is a new one called basic beige. And I like that it's kind of like the crumbs from Cake Card Stick, just a little bit lighter. So uh, lots of great browns and grays that we can use in our coloring. And those are so versatile. They go with so many different uh, colors and patterns. So I just wanted to give you a heads up on that. So um, if you'd like to find out more about Paper Pumpkin, you can go to my Stampin' Up! 24-7 store. That's suestap.stampinup.net. Or you can always email me, suestap1 at gmail.com. I would love to hear from you. And if, um, if you're so inclined and need a demonstrator, I'd be happy to work with you. I do offer workshops here in my home, and those are the third Tuesday of every month. So you're welcome to join for one of those if you're local. And if not, I'll send the cards to you, the kits out to you in the mail. So uh, there's lots of ways to participate. And I am very excited about the new catalog. I look forward to sharing it with you and hope to hear from you soon. Until then, happy stamping. This is Sue Stapp signing off.